female prisoner is tied to a stake, which makes the for stalking clad guards look particularly aroused. Bullying like this is just the tip of the iceberg at this prison. From the moment they're locked up, the women are destined to be used for pleasure. Scorpion, as the most dangerous person in the women's prison, was given special treatment. Not only is she locked in a dark cell, but she's also chained hand and foot, making it almost impossible for anyone to escape. But Scorpion never let go of her hatred, even at this extreme disadvantage. She bit down on an iron spoon and rubbed it on the floor. Over time, the spoon became a weapon she could use to kill. One day, the head of the prison came to pick up the prey. Instead of resisting, the women were first to play music to welcome them. The leader went around and didn't pick a single one. In order to please the leader, Jack had Scorpion, who was quite beautiful, brought out. This was also Scorpion's only chance to leave the confinement room. Due to Scorpion's torture, her body had already weakened. As soon as she appeared on the scene, she fainted on the ground. The leader saw that Scorpion was not bad looking, so he asked the two guards to be more gentle with the beauty. Jack immediately told the leader not to get too close to this woman, because she is an extremely dangerous character, who has a history of escaping from prison. If the leader had to choose her, he would have to wait until they had coached her well first. As soon as Jack's words fell, Scorpion, who was still dying, suddenly rose up in the air and stabbed his sharpened blade into Jack's eye. If it wasn't for the sunglasses that blocked the stab, I'm afraid Jack would have been completely crippled this time. The leader, who had never seen such a powerful woman before, was so scared that she peed her pants. The female inmates laughed out loud at the leader, who was so proud just a moment ago. They didn't think such a coward would dare to come to the women's prison for fun. So they decided to play a game with this goon. The leader did not expect the female prisoners, so fear scared and shouted for mercy. But after all, the guards had the guns. And after a few shots, the women had no choice but to stop. Jack was furious with the women prisoners, so he punished them with hard labor under the hot sun. Only Scorpion was tied to a stake and did not have to work. But just because she doesn't have to work doesn't mean she doesn't get punished. Jack is a very vindictive person. He got for guards to dance in a circle around Scorpion and deliberately disgusted Scorpion with their hideous expressions. This was used as an example for the other inmates to follow. But even in this desperate situation, Scorpion still bit the stocking on the guard's face to show his resistance. Jack saw this and contemplated a more brutal punishment. Scorpion lost her strength after hours of repeated torture. She and the other prisoners were loaded into the van like cattle. But instead of pitying her, the other prisoners blamed her for their troubles. So they beat Scorpion while she was weak. Scorpion, already badly injured, passed out. One of the young inmates couldn't stand it, so he cried out in pain. The guards in the car heard the commotion and rushed to open the case. After double checking, the guards thought that Scorpion had been beaten to death, so they were ready to destroy her body. But while the guards were chatting, Scorpion suddenly puts a chain around a guard's neck before the other guards could react. Prisoner Plum Blossom quickly grabbed his gun and shot him dead. After the guard's death, the girls felt more freedom than ever before. But since none of them had ever learned to drive, they had to abandon the car and flee. When Jack saw the burned out car, he vowed to kill them all. On the way out, the prisoners ran aimlessly through the mountains. It's still better than being in prison. The prisoners didn't know where they were, but they saw an abandoned cabin not far from here. The cabin became a temporary refuge for the prisoners. After days of starvation during their escape, the prisoners saw a couple of unattended puppies and swarmed over them for food. At night, they cooked meat over the fire in the hut. One of the prisoners missed his family so much that he sneaked back home when they weren't looking. This is a sure sign that she's caught in a trap. As expected, the guards had already set up an ambush at her home. Luckily, Scorpion was alert and followed her. Just as the guards were about to arrest her, Scorpion put a knife to his neck and took him back to the cabin. When the women saw that Scorpion had brought back a guard, they started to take revenge. But the guard was not to be outdone. During the fight, the two of them shot a fellow inmate who was watching when his gun went off. But the gun was still working, and the guard was undoubtedly beaten to a pulp. There are only six women left out of seven, knowing that the coordinates of the cabin had been compromised. They hung the dead guard upside down and continued their escape. Due to the escape of a felon, the roads have been tightened for a 100 mile radius. A group of hooligans on a bus were not scared but excited when they heard about the escape because they were also hooligans who had just been released from prison. They were drinking in the car and molesting the tour guide who was narrating. Anna, a female prisoner, comes to the river alone to pee when the children see her. Anna doesn't want to be wary of the children because they are the only ones with a kindness she hasn't seen in a long time. Just when Anna thought human nature was good, she suddenly met the three hooligans who molested the tour guide on the bus. Seeing that Anna was alone in the wild mountains, they immediately revealed the evil side of human nature. As the three hooligans exerted too much force, Anna died suddenly on the spot. They threw her into the valley like a broken toy. 
the blood flowed down the rocks and into the river. This brutal scene was witnessed by the five remaining female prisoners. They chased the hoodlums all the way to avenge Anna's death. The three hoodlums thought they'd be safe back on the bus, but Scorpion pulled out a dagger and took everyone on the bus hostage. Since the women prisoners had the guns, no one on the bus dared to resist. Even though there were many people on the bus, they drank the hooligans' beer and ordered the three hooligans to take off their clothes. They were going to make the three hoodlums suffer the same humiliation as Anna. The women prisoners had undoubtedly gained absolute control of the bus. It was short-lived, but they enjoyed it. The philosophy that human nature is evil is now in full effect. They were usually abused female prisoners, so they naturally had to return the favor when they had this opportunity. But this madness didn't last long. The guard's car stopped the bus. In order to save her own skin, Plum Blossom ordered the other female inmates to get Scorpion off the bus. After all, having Scorpion distract the guards was the only way she could think of. But Jack had already set up an ambush a short distance away. She threatened Apricot's family to stop the bus. Plum Blossom was about to shoot when Apricot stopped her. Seeing her family in danger, Apricot grabbed a machete and fought the guards alone. But how can a knife be faster than a gun? Apricot lost her breath without a trace. The bus driver took advantage of the chaos to open the door and tell the passengers to run for their lives, then grabbed the gun from Plum Blossom's hand. After all, Plum Blossom was a vicious outlaw. Before the driver could react, Plum Blossom picked up a knife on the ground and stabbed him to death. Then she took the steering wheel in her hand and pushed the gas pedal. The four women on the bus that were trapped that night were once again surrounded by guards. The bus had run out of gas. At the end of their rope, the women prisoners took the three hoodlums on the bus as hostages and vowed to gamble with Jack to the death. Jack doesn't want to hurt the hostages and get himself involved. So he sends Scorpion to find out what's going on. Scorpion has a grudge because she was betrayed by the other female inmates during the day. She lied that there were no hostages in the car, except for the female prisoners. Jack immediately orders his men to execute Plan B. After a firefight, the three hostages fell under the gun. The female inmates on the bus also ran out of bullets, and Plum Blossom became the only survivor on the bus. Jack doesn't want Scorpion to go back to prison and orders the guards to take her to the dump for execution. Just in the nick of time, Plum Blossom bites the ear of one of the guards, and Scorpion grabs his rifle and shoots them both. Although Plum Blossom had betrayed her before, she had saved her life this time. Scorpion vowed to take Plum Blossom with him, but Plum Blossom died of her wounds on the way out. Scorpion could only continue to run in anonymity. A few months later, a woman in a black coat stood on Jack's way home. This woman is Scorpion. Jack doesn't recognize Scorpion when he sees her in her new clothes. When he hesitates, Scorpion stops him. Scorpion has not only avenged the deaths of her fellow wingmates, she's going to the prison to free more of her suffering sisters. She returns to the nightmare place and rallies all the women inmates to escape. These desperate women have finally found a new life. As the saying goes, where there is oppression, there is resistance. These women have done wrong, but they can't be used as tools for others. Freedom is beautiful. I hope that those who have regained their freedom will have a new life. That's all for today's story. May excellent movies be watched by more people. You can subscribe to Chili Film and leave comments.